And no return where there's a will, there's a way, and there's a way towards wins for this Mississippi State team. Last year, they tried to mix some things up and put guys out of position. It really cost Kentucky. Rodgers had a field day. Here's Dylan Johnson, and here's the Mississippi State run game past midfield on a 16-yard run. He's capable of just flicking it out there, but yeah, you get a little, a little too tightly wound sometimes. Fits this one into a window. That's good for a Kentucky first down. But the ball came loose at the end, and it's Mississippi State football. Carolina last week. Yeah, watch 19 Colin Duncan here. It's a great job. Not dropping eight. Looks like you're going to rush four here, try to get some pressure. They brought a different four, and that brought pressure indeed, and a flag on the play. Carrington Valentine was one of the four rushers, but Kate. Even in coverage, so you don't lose a guy on the back end or open up an easy throw for Will Rogers. A great play call there by Brad White on third and long to dial up some pressure. A young quarterback then that's got to handle protections and sight adjusts and against the blitz down the sideline and it is caught. There's Dane Key, the freshman from right here at Lexington, out of Frederick Dulles, Douglas. It's a gain of 31. An even better job by Dane Key on the outside of tracking this ball. Will Levis had to let this go so early. Here comes pressure. Levis taken down again. Another Mississippi State sack. You said Tyus Reed would play a key role. And he came submarining in for his third sack of the season. Flax will be in and out of the relationship on the right side of your screen there. And again, the mobility of Will Levis, not what it's used to being with that injured foot. And Mississippi State taking full advantage of that early tonight. And that one will punch through. And Mississippi State took a while to get there. Finally on the scoreboard, 3 nothing. Second and nine now. And they'll go straight ahead with some window dressing. Rodriguez running through dudes. And it's a Kentucky first down. Tim, break down this replay for us. Here over the last several years and starting to get it going. Chris Rodriguez back into the lineup. And he's made a huge difference over the last couple games. He's just such a powerful runner, always falling forward. A big physical guy. And this is what he brings to the table and brings this offense. Nice little route. Get it out quickly. Here's Lewis. Flag late. That was well past the banner on the sideline to Cameron Richardson. Four receivers to the right. And Levis with the quarterback run takes it to the 10. And a timeout taken with 14 seconds left on the clock. Movement by State. The kick was good. Here comes pressure. Levis heaves it. Brown with a flag still hauled it in. And Levis is injured. Kentucky's fan base holding their collective breath after that hard hit on Levis. Ooh. <laughs> Just snuck it in. A four down front with an outside linebacker that can be a rush in, get after the quarterback, but also drop into coverage. Gives this offense a little trouble. Time to get open for Austin Williams, who takes it inside the 30. Quarterback's roommate, usually their favorite target. <laughs> So Woody Marks out of the backfield. And he takes it inside the 10. Gain of 19. We're told that the replay booth is looking at a possible targeting violation on this. It would come right there from Kedron Smith. Well, 
I mean, first glance looks like a football play, and you start to peel back the layers, and obviously being tackled, Marks is somewhat of a defenseless guy there with him coming at a different angle. Not sure if that's what they're looking like, you know, as he's turned there, but he's a ball carrier. Let's start with this. If he's not defenseless, is that targeting? No. Yeah. And not to me. To the end zone, Williams, touchdown, Mississippi State. What a huge play for the Bulldogs and Williams with his fourth touchdown of the season. After Will Rogers throws for his first touchdown, it came on a fourth and goal from the one, his 23rd passing touchdown. And look at this huge hole. Here he goes. Chris Rodriguez tracked down inside the 10. Richardson finally got him. It's a 47-yard sprint. On the cutback by Chris Rodriguez. Seals the linebacker on the edge and opens the hole for Chris Rodriguez. And this run game is awake now. And so Levis will throw. Touchdown! Rashawn Lewis. Out of the way. You're going to see Johnson right here. He's going to work in this direction. And Will Levis is going to keep moving him with his eyes. Watch the little shoulder roll that gets that action to open up that second window throw. Those are the little crumbs that NFL scouts love to see. Manipulation of the defense. Hanging in the pocket, waiting for the second window to open up. You see there the shoulder roll, moves the linebacker, opens up that second window slant. And I love the trust Rich Scangarello has in his quarterback. There's a big win on the recruiting trail for Mark Stoops, and here's Jatan McClain, and that's a big run on first down. Pick up a 15. It's a lot of explosive plays on the catch and run. 15 tackles for Watson coming in hard. They got to Levis, but he got it away. And Jatan McClain takes a sidearm pass inside the 20. There's a flag back in midfield. Comes scraping off the side. And look at just the sidearm flick. And what a warrior. I mean, he has gotten beat up tonight. Been hit a bunch. Obviously came in with a toe injury. Dislocated finger a couple weeks ago. Dingle now the fullback in the eye formation. Here's Rodriguez, and he finds a hole. And he is in a fantastic run for Rodriguez from 16 out. Sean Manning's going to pull from the backside. You're going to get a kick out block. And then watch number 10, Chauncey Magwood, come to the screen at the very end right there. Just getting in front of the corner, Emmanuel Forbes, to make sure Rodriguez had that extra space to finish it off. And that five-time All-Star loves it. He, he wasn't filming ball. it. Levis to throw, and he's picked up. Going the other way is Forbes. And indeed, a pivotal play as Mississippi State steals one. And it's a 59-yard pick six on a perfect read by Forbes. Eventually, he's just going to break on it, and that is a break on the football right there by Forbes. Man. They've got everybody stacked within five yards of the line of scrimmage. Cover zero. And he hands it off to Rodriguez. A little hurdle. He's able to pick up a dozen on first down. Levis has time, lets it go. Caught. The Cal Crowdis. And Kentucky knocking on the door again. 50 yard gain. You can run it. You see the pressure come from the outside. Watch how early he's got to let that ball go. And their receivers expect it on the outside. But no one there. Will Levis has to. Here's Rodriguez, churning, moving, shoving, he's in, seven yard run.
finished off with the physicality here. Chris Rodriguez. Some linemen helping him. Let's see if he crosses. Knee was down. At what point did that ball touching in the white line? Play clock is winding down. They get it off. Rodgers over the middle. Intercepted. DeAndre Square with the pick with four minutes to play. Red Will Rodgers' eyes carried the seam. They might as well have been the receiver there getting hit right. After a demoralizing loss at Ole Miss, there really was a, a penalty away from maybe going the other way. And then without Will Levis last week. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.